Right, hi everybody. As you can see from the first lot of footage, I'm back up at camp. Um, I've come to do a hot tent and found me shelter destroyed after only having one night in it. So obviously there's some very sad individuals out there and obviously with this the word that they've put on the on the floor, you know, is there any need for it really? But it's not going to get us down because I had a funny feeling that something would happen to the shelter at any rate and all I've done is I've used it as a learning curve on how to build shelter and what to do and all that. It looked good, it looked, it was great, had a great nice kip in it but I'm in an area where I'm surrounded by houses and there's a lot of people coming here, a lot of waves and strafes, uh, a lot of people that just don't get the fact of being out in nature and enjoying the woodland you know I, I would have been quite happy for them to come up and use it have a fire there use it steep in it things like that if they didn't get chased by the owner of the land that i've got permission to be here off but other than that you know they've come up they've they've exerted themselves i hope one of them have injured themselves when they've done it like but like i said when i first started building it i knew it was going to happen and uh, just means I've got plenty of firewood for tonight. So I don't have to go sourcing very far, do I? Because I can just use whatever's there and it'll build up and I'll use that as and when I come up here now for camps. And uh, it is what it is. But I've got the memories, I've got the videos. So anyway, as you can see, I've got a brand new pack on me back. There will be a separate video on that. It is a Warrior X300 60 litre backpack. It's absolutely outstanding and um, very, very comfortable on the back, on the walk in. The waist belt and everything is just so comfortable. So, basically, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a look around. I've got me, my new TP hot tent and wood burn stove in my Bergen. I haven't got anything spectacular to eat the night, just uh, a, a sausage, uh, some noodles, a pot noodle, a couple of chocolate bars couple of cans of lager and the normal Jack Daniels and Baileys okay so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to find a nice a nice flat spot out the way and uh, get set up I think I might go back to my old little spot over here oh this is where I used to camp in any way before it all started getting demolished so well, it's a nice big flat area here and anyway. Well, the first thing I've got to do though is check up on all these big trees. Just have a quick look around, make sure there's nothing looking too dangerous. And then I'll start getting set up. But um getting near three o'clock now. So I'm not gonna muck around videoing myself getting set up. I'll get set up and then I'll I'll bring you and talk do a walk to walk through talk through on me actual setup okay i've got a few changes to the stove from me last video if anybody watched it okay to make it a bit more secure and safe all right and uh i'll stop waffling and we'll get on with it eh? see you in a bit Right, here we are then, all set up. That was a complete force. That took absolutely ages to get set up. Unbelievable like. Oh, anyway, as you can see inside, got the stove set up, chair there, bed area over there. The ground area is a little bit high on that side like. Um, I need to try and work that out. But tell you what though, I don't know how people fit like two and three people in with all that gear, like, or four people. This is supposed to be a, a three to four man TP. And you just leave all your kit outside or something. Obviously, I've got a chair and that in there. So, obviously, sleeping system. I've got a, I think it's a German or a Norwegian ground sheet. I've got my firmer rest. I've got my Firefly free season uh, lightweight sleeping bag. A lightweight bivy bag from AliExpress, about £17. Absolutely brilliant bit of kit. Top zip as well, so it's easier to get into your bag. 
obviously down here I've got uh, my tools and all that ready to go electric bag because I need to start getting some wood I've got my kitchen area over the back there with my cans, my little table and all that and then my bottle and my food underneath my chair and then obviously the stove itself well what I've done is um, I've got a jury clip around the bottom here makes it a lot more sturdier it's solid as a rock like I'll show you why in a second but yeah I think I'm gonna be absolutely scorching in there the night like to be quite honest so what I've done is I've cut a hole I need to just move it the, the stove forward a little bit to get it off here like so it's got plenty of room there basically what I've done is I've got the the cap excuse the sunshine on the camera the cap up the top there is going on the inside it's got two lug bayonet lugs that come out so it stops it sliding all the way in and then it's got a jury clip all the way around the top of it I'll just take the camera up so you can see so as you can see there okay and then I've got three guidelines attached to that as well so that's making this absolutely solid as a rock Um, me first thoughts on this I'll just move around the other side so I get out the sunshine so my first thoughts on this actual stove was it was very um, unstable and weak but when you put the guide ropes on all I've got is um, oh, I can't remember bank line black bank line all the way down three pegs three locations to carry it out it's keeping it nice and sturdy most of the spacer rings that I've got on the stove are actually on the inner side of the tent to keep it fingered it's still a bit crap yeah but it's on the outside of the tent so it doesn't really matter as you can see I've seam sealed all the way around the top there and obviously around here as well where it was the problems with the stuff uh, the holes sorry but other than that yeah happy days obviously the, the gap up the, on here is a little bit too much like I think so the wind will be blowing straight through so I think all I might do is just get loads of dead leaves and just build a little barrier wall all the way around that'll be the easiest option right hi everybody as you can see I'm just battening a few bits of wood to get the fire started to get her on in the stove I've already got a lot done off camera all right oh. I've got loads of nice little bits of dry wood like this just a button and then I've got loads of nice chunks in the in the shelter already to go well in the TP sorry we haven't got a shelter anymore however <laughs> oh. yeah and I think the sun's starting to go down now so we've got a nice little time lapse on the go on the other GoPro and uh, then I'm going to get a, a fire on the go I'm feeling a bit a bit hungry now oh. things are starting to quiet down around here and all there's been quite a lot of activity with uh, dog walkers and things so obviously they'll all be getting tucked up oh, there's a bit of wood gone flying yeah, they're all getting tucked up in their little cosy homes oh. and I'll be getting tucked up in front of a fire soon in the next hour well as you can see the sun's going down now so oh. I'm all prepped inside the the shelter ready for tonight I've got plenty of wood in there little bits and pieces to get us going through at the night well, all set up nicely in there I might bring my chair out actually because I'm gonna have a well I might just sit on that stool I'm gonna sit and have a nice little fire out here for a bit and just chillax with a nice can of lager so I'm not gonna be mucking around with a fire fire starting I'm not doing no bush crafty type fires whatsoever again the day all I'm gonna be doing is same again a little bit of inner tube and a lighter stick it underneath there happy days
and fingers crossed it hits hits the wood I'm just wondering if I actually need another bit but that seems to be kicking off really well we don't want to bend down the bottom here are we? so Get another bit down there. Let's get the fire gun. There we're going. Nice easy way to start the fire. No humming and hawing. Let's just get on with it. Now, get some bits and pieces on. There you go. Happy days. Sunset's lovely now. I've had my other camera going over there, but I think I'm going to change its uh, position. Right, well, as you can see, the fire's going nicely. I've got myself um, a couple of pepperonis just to chew on for now and a nice little chocolate biscuit and wash it all down with a nice can of Stella. So I'm actually gonna sit here now. Let's turn the camera around. Howdy, folks. Well, I think an outside fire is definitely on the cause for tonight and then have a, a stove camp later on when it gets a bit darker and uh, I'll cook some food I've just got one of them pre-cooked sausages uh, a packet of noodles I've also brought a pot noodle out um, and then just my bog standard um, du -du 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 porridge for breakfast in the morning with a cup of tea but like I say, I've only brought two cans out, some Jack Daniels and some Baileys, so not, not too much to drink, but more than enough like. So I'll just sup me Jack Daniels nice and slowly later on. Got a nice movie to watch later on when I'm sitting chilling by myself. Cheers everybody, and uh, commiserations to the shelter. But it's provided us with plenty of firewood for the night. I haven't had to go sourcing it everywhere. So, to the shelter. One night only I had in that. One bloody night. Some tossers around, isn't there? But aye, the, the temperature has started to drop a, a little tiny bit, but not major. I've been t shirt order all day. Um, I say all day, I didn't come out a little bit early afternoon. So, but yeah, I'm sitting recording this and usually be sitting watching my first night in the bushcraft shelter. As I'm speaking now, I think it's about six o'clock on Sunday night now. So, yeah, nothing bushcrafty about this this video at all. So, if it's if it's boring fires, uh, feel free to switch off. But I would rather just didn't like. Or it's just a proper chilled out camp. I was going to do some work on the uh, on the shelter actually. I was going to build a perimeter wall going around the fire area, and possibly put a bench in. Had all the wood across the um, the stream already seen. Just I had to go and cut it up into, into sections and then bring it over. But obviously there's no point as I really now. So. But it was a good learning curve building that shelter, how you can use your natural resources, the shape of a fallen tree and everything. Um, it'll bring us into good stead for what I've got planned for up in Harwood. I've got a couple of more little shelters that I want to try and build over the, the rest of this year, what we've got left of it in any rate. So I've got lots of plans for up there because it's just an abundance of building material 
scattered everywhere in that forest. Well, Horwood, aye, Horwood Forest it's called, isn't it? I was going to say it's a woods, but it's not, it's a big forest. Well, what a perfect way to spend the last evening of winter and the beginning of spring. Couldn't have think of anything better. Sitting in front of a nice open fire, can of beer that's now empty. <laughs> listening to the birds singing their songs talking to each other and the roaring noise of motorbikes driving by but no what a fantastic sunset that was yeah absolutely stunning it's been another cracking day of the day for weather wise I'm hitting lucky every time I come out so happy days and fingers crossed Every time I come out, the weather's going to be good. But uh, this open fire, you just can't be it, can you? So, but I'm going to let this die down now in any way. And uh, I should be retiring to the boudoir and get the the, um, the stove on. There is a little bit of a chill in the air now, but it's nothing major like. Um, I'm sitting in front of an absolutely amazing fire. Uh, the heat is tremendous like so I was going to cook on the open fire but I've decided not to I'm, I'm not really hungry to be quite honest I've just been picking it um, pepperonis and things so but I, no doubt I'll have some to eat later on but yeah the fire it's just amazing, a great TV, but I will be sitting and listening to some tunes later on, I've got my radio here ready to put on, and I'm going to go and get another can, and I'm going to sit and chillax until it starts getting dark, and then I'll be retiring to the tent. Yep, happy days. Well, it's um, half past seven at night. Things are not quieting down, but the wildlife are starting to, well, the owls and that are being out, and the stomach making like a wee, wee, wee noise. Um, I think I might have caught a little bit of footage of it just before, so I might hear the noise. And then, obviously, I've got the train, train noises in the background then. <laughs> but I tell you what, mate. What a lush night. Sometimes I wish I had just bought a tarp and a bivvy instead of all this hot tenting and that. Because I'm really just enjoying just sitting here in front of this fire. Right, that's me into the TP now. I've still got the door open because I'm just keeping an eye on the fire because the fire's dying down now. I uh, haven't got a clue what time it is. Let's have a look at me. Me clock on the phone, it's 20 to 8 at night, so I'm going to come into here now. I've got some very old fire lighters that I've had in my fire kit for donkey's years. So I'm just going to light them, see if this gets the fire going. I've already loaded it up with loads of little bits and pieces of wood and everything. Oh, obviously that catches dead quick. Fingers crossed, it sets. Let's shut the door. I'm going to 
open the vent, see if it uh, lets anything off. Obviously, where the I, I'm talking, but I can't see it, can you? Um, where sorry, I'll, I'll put my light on so you can see. I probably can't see in any way, so you don't need on. But down at the bottom here, I can see little flames there, so that means telling me that there's, there's a gap there. Uh, didn't notice that the last time, but the heat off the stove already is absolutely unbelievable. Like, and I've just lit it, and uh, uh, the heat is unreal. So, I think I'm gonna be sitting here sweating. Like, but I've got one of these with us, it's not a smoke alarm, it's actually an alarm for carbon dioxide. Obviously, because I'm gonna be in an enclosed tent. Obviously, I've got the air vents open, okay, and I've got the door open at the minute because I want to see how warm it gets in here. Well, I've got this switched on, as you can see, I, the, the green flashing light will come on, okay, and this is just my way. It's like having a bloody lap dancing pool in front of us, yeah. I just didn't think there's enough room here, me, like, with, without the chair and lying on the floor, it would be plenty of room, but I didn't want to be sitting on the floor. Um, Yeah, so anyway, I've got the common dioxide um, alarm for safety reasons um, I've got absolutely tons and tons of wood I'm going to take this off the stand actually and we'll have a look at this fire the stove I mean sorry everybody Let's put me lighter down there next to me other lighter as you can see That's going. Hopefully it'll catch all the wood. I'm just going to open the door a second. And as you can see, I've put a grill down on the bottom there. And it's got little bits of metal on the ends, which um, I just bent back over to make it nice and flat. And all I've done is I've just bent them forward uh, to make them stand up. And I've got three little rocks at the back end just to keep that up. And fingers crossed. Um, That'll work. It'll allow the air flow to go underneath me wood. So that's happy days. I'll close this up again. Yeah, that's banging out. That's banging out heat, that like. Right then, my water's boiled. It's been boiling away for a couple of minutes now, so I've probably lost a little bit of it in any way. Uh, but I'm not really bothered. I've had to reopen the door. Uh, I just feel hemmed in. I'm just not used to being stuck surrounded by material i'm used to being underneath a tarp or in a shelter but anyway i've opened the door because it was getting too warm and anyway and i'm going to have myself one of these hot noodles this is a, a naked um singapore style curry so i've been chomping away on the pre-cooked sausage oh. now I've, I've had a couple of these before different types of these before these um pot noodles like i said earlier on i'm not i'm not cooking proper meals i just kind of be asked to be honest it's just a basically i've come just to get out and get into the woods and enjoy myself and relax watch watch a bit of youtube drink some beers in front of the stove the the fire's gone out now outside so that's happy days but I've noticed me, me pan handles and everything are absolutely red as so I've got me oh that's absolutely scorchy oh let's put that back on there for now and uh, I'll just let that sit for a little while while I um, finish off my can and yeah that, that's it I'm afraid it's very exciting isn't it uh, but anyway let's have a look at this let's get this stirred because this this is the the food of champions <laughs> nah, it takes a while as you can see but you kind of smell it but it it smells nice like so I think what I might do is add a little bit more water 
let that soak for a while but I might slice up the rest of my sausage and put that in as well just to give it a little bit of extra something like and uh, obviously as you can see it looks like straw at the minute but it needs to rehydrate itself right well good morning everybody it's uh, 25 to 7 I've been up for about 15 minutes I decided to get up out my pit get me sleeping bag and me roll mat, mat sorry like half packed away over in the corner here just to give it some more room um, I had a really nice warm comfortable sleep last night uh, even though I still woke up a couple of times um, had a helicopter flying up above us <coughs> well uh, around this area uh, obviously because I'm close to an airport in any way so that woke us up and then uh, had loads of animal activity in the woods last night with birds and uh, like owls and deer bark and everything. Um, so it was nice to hear. But other than that, so I've I've cracked on the uh, the stove first thing this morning. So it's going to wake me up because I feel like there's something there, but it wasn't. Uh, I've cracked the stove up straight away, as you can see, and I've got me. Be pan on the go for us to boil some water to make a brew and to make some porridge. So I've still got plenty of wood left. I did uh, stoke the fire up a couple of times throughout the night. Uh, just keep it keep it simmering away, um, and it burns very very efficient. So when I opened it up this morning, like there wasn't a single bit of wood left, it's just pure fine ash inside. So I'm definitely, definitely impressed with it more than what I was when I first had my first uh, video of it, the initial look of it. After using it now in, in a hot tent, absolutely fantastic, like no issues with the flu whatsoever. Um, like, I, like I showed you on the setup with the tie tie ups on it. It got a little bit breezy last night. I wouldn't say it was mega windy like but it got a bit a bit a bit of a breeze on last night and uh the flu just never budged like uh, having them guide ropes on and it just makes it so much safer. So I'm really really happy with that. And just the amount of heat that it bangs out is unreal like so yeah happy days so now anyway, wait I'm gonna have me cup of tea and me porridge and I'm gonna start squaring away my kit because I've got kit everywhere if I had to bug out now I'd be knackered <laughs> I need to try and keep keep organizing my kit where, where it's packed away ready just to rock and roll like but anyway I'm gonna put my boots on because my feet are getting cold on the floor and get a cup of tea in that and I'll speak years later on. All right. All right then, hi everybody. Well, I've just been sitting, chilling, having brews, eating food, in front of the, and sitting next to the stove, having a nice little bit of warmth and that. It's a bit of a, bit of a chilly day of the day, like. Um, I don't even know what time it is. I think it's about nine o'clock in the morning now. So as you can see, I've got a washing line up. I'm just airing my stuff. Found a little bit of, a tiny bit of condensation inside of here. So the sleeping bag was a little bit dampish. And I always like to air things off before I take them home in any way. It just helps the process, doesn't it, when you get back home. So I turn my sleeping bag inside out, get rid of anything that's crawled in there as well. Wife hates it when I put loads of spiders and little crawly beetles into the house. <laughs> what I've done is I've let the fire die down as much as I could. And then I've just disconnected the, the flue. That's over there, cooling off. And then... I've brought the stove over here, emptied the contents onto the floor, poured a, 
a bit of water on it give it a mix and i'm just going to let that naturally uh, go out because i'm going to be here for another hour or so and if it's not then i'll just go and get some water from the uh, the stream at the back there and sort that out so as you can see i've got kit laying around all over the place but before i can pack my bergen i need to have that stove all uh, cleaned dismantled and packed into that bag because that bag goes into my bergen first i can't put it up on the top i suppose or on the bottom so i might just do that actually be a different way of uh, carrying it back and anyway i'm gonna get unpacked and uh unpacked packed up and then when i'm all sorted and tied all my area i'm gonna stash all the wood if you can see the amount of wood that i've still got left over is a load so i'm just going to stash this somewhere underneath a big tree cover it in a few leaves and then uh, i'll just use that the next time i'm up because i've already prepped it but i think the next time i camp in this woods i'll be out of my hammock because i've never done a hammock camp for ages and also i want to see how this bergen corpse fitting in a dd hammock and under blanket and everything and the big tops and things it will it'll fit like a glove like i know for a fact it will because it's 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 like um doctor who's tallest you just fit all sorts in but there is a video coming out on the bergen itself okay so look out for that it's it's a it's a little beauty like but anyway i've only got a tiny little bit of rubbish three cans some um pot noodle pot and some bits of plastic that i never burnt in the in the fire because i didn't want to and that's obviously just my pee bottle there while i'm draining out and uh too much information i think so anyway mate i'll catch you in a bit when i'm all squared away this is the worst part packing up to go home okay then so as you can see everything's nice and tidy okay leave no trace because I was not here <laughs> I was though right that was um, the first time using the hot tent properly and the wood burn stove and I must say I was impressed the only thing that was getting in, in my way was the pool inside but I think I had that much gear in there in any way um, I think if I laid it out different then I would have, would have had a more workable area to play in but I was just sitting chilling I wasn't really doing anything it was a it was a great night to come out and just totally relax enjoy myself no pressures on cooking any big meals or anything and just mucking around with my kit um, obviously like I said New Bergen there's a video on its way or it's already been out before this one we'll see but anyway if you've enjoyed what you've seen and you're not a subscriber please hit that subscribe button there's a bell notification there as well ping that and you'll get notifications of whenever i upload a new video and please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment okay if you've got any questions and you want to personally messages me email is in the description below please don't send any messages on messenger because i just ignore them altogether okay that's what the email's for and also um patches i said on one of my last videos that i was getting some patches done i think they're slightly too big so i'm going to try and get the smaller one try and get them done smaller again so just bear with us I've, i know there's a few people actually requested to have them so i will get them sorted asap and then get back to you okay so just look out for the for the message on me community posts okay right anyway that's me waffling too much now so thanks in any way for watching and i'll catch you all on the next one see you in a while